In this lesson, we're going to work with an action shot that was taken at a high frame rate in the slow-mo setting on an iPhone. The higher the frame rate, the more the video can be slowed down. We can tell both of these clips were shot at a high frame rate because of the dashed circle here in the upper left of their icons. In iMovie Preferences, we can have slow motion applied to these clips automatically when they're added to the timeline or we can choose to do it manually. Let's keep this checked and add one of these clips. The 3.2 second clip ends up being over 14 seconds in the timeline because the slow motion is automatically applied. Notice we also have three time sliders the center one all being slow motion. So this can be nice, but there's no way to change where the slow motion effect starts and ends without splitting the clip. We're only able to adjust the speed with the three sliders. So if I remove the clip and change the slow motion setting in iMovie Preferences, when we bring in the clip this time, it's still just 3.2 seconds. I can then use the R key to select the exact portion of the clip that I want it to slow down. I'll start as he leaves the diving board and end the slow-mo as he goes into the water. Let's set that to 20% in the speed controls. Notice the smooth box is checked. So the transitions between the full speed and slow motion parts of the clip will happen gradually and not immediately. Now let's select the end part of this clip and go up to the modify menu and down to instant replay. This is going to repeat what I have selected at any of these speeds. If I choose 50%, this is going to be another 50% slower than the clip is already. So it will be kind of a super slow-mo replay. Notice the instant replay graphic, which is automatically added as a title. We can just how long this is displayed for or remove it completely. We can use a similar process to add a rewind effect to the selected area of a clip. Just select the portion of the clip you want, then choose rewind from up in the modify menu. After this is added, the speed can be adjusted of the rewind area of the clip. 